Hello, Charlene here, and guess what? It's day five. We get to celebrate. You have done it. You have finished the five days of Find Me Clients on LinkedIn Challenge, and you now are uh, with your shiny new, hopefully shiny new, <laughs> client attraction headline on for LinkedIn. And for those of you who, as I said yesterday, posted in the comments on um, the live stream yesterday, the post, the replay yesterday, if your headline is there, and I saw there were some today, I'm going to be giving some live feedback for those who are uh, who posted. And if you didn't post, if you're one of those, oh no, you're trying to catch up, don't feel bad because I'm going to give you an opportunity to still catch up because Hey, I am that person. I always do these challenges right at the last minute. Often I'll blitz them on Saturday or Sunday and just get them done. So you can still post, you can still get through the challenge. You can still post your update headline today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and on Tuesday when I run my masterclass bonus, then I'll be giving, um, I will give everybody feedback through the comments on LinkedIn. But if you want some personalized live feedback, then you could possibly get that as well on the call on Tuesday. So you haven't missed out yet. Up above is the link to join this challenge. You have to sign up there because that's where I send you all the emails and all the details about not only the challenge, the past content, the replays, the action items, the links directly to post, the template for uh, the formula that you received yesterday. So you can kind of plug and play the three parts. All of that and the bonus information is coming in the email. So be sure you can still sign up for that. And as I said, on Tuesday, I am running my Leads on Autopilot Masterclass. Now, this is special for only those who have signed up and are receiving the emails every day for the challenge. If you're just participating on the challenge on LinkedIn here, you will not receive the Zoom link for this call. It will not be live streamed because I want to have action takers. I want to have serious people who are ready to build their foundation, their client attraction profile foundation with me. And so I'm going to share some extra bonuses and those are only for those who register. So make sure you do that. So let me just see here. Oh, right. Let's see. And you can comment, of course, as we are going through this. So let's take a look and do some headline feedbacks. And, you know, I'm not going to give the sad face. I'm sure everybody, no matter what you have done, if you have put even a little bit of effort in, even brainstorming is better than being at zero. Essentially, you're going to be already moving up that line towards it being amazing and excellent. And it's not about getting it perfect and excellent the first time. OK, mine definitely wasn't. And it wasn't the third or the fourth. It takes a lot of time for it to uh, see if it's working, but we can get it pretty good and start measuring it. And then we can tweak it. And I also continue to tweak and improve mine. It's ongoing process. Why? It's not a one and done because your business is growing, changing and developing. The environment around you is also changing, right? The, the situations that our people are in are changing. You are growing and changing, and therefore your business is going to grow and change. It's never really static. There are points of where it gets pretty flat and where things are working really good, and you can improve on those things, but it isn't going to stay like that forever. We're in a changing world, so everything has to always change and evolve, including who you are, your business, and of course, stuff that you do on LinkedIn, right? So let's take a quick, I'm going to go back to here and get out of the full screen. And we'll start with, I believe Yan had a great one. Just one second here. Um, there we are. It's coming, it's coming. All right. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Now she hasn't updated it on her LinkedIn profile yet. She um, 
put it um, in the comments, which is totally fine. Uh, it's a little bit hard to read, so I'll just read it out. She put, I'll read her older, her original headline, which is the one that's currently on her LinkedIn profile. And I will also read her updated one with the three components. Now, do you guys remember what are the three parts that you need for a client attraction headline? Let's go through it really quick. The first part is you need to have a very, very specific hyper-targeted niche. The more specific you can get, the better. So uh, geographical, industry, anything you can add in to make it very specific is going to make it easier to actually attract more of those right clients to you. The second thing is you want to identify the biggest challenge or problem that that particular client has. And yes, they're going to have many, but generally there's one that's really kind of the underlying problem that is really driving their pain and desire to kind of move towards you, all right? And the third is not your product and service. Remember, the third is what is the win that you get for your client? What's the outcome? What do they get after working with you? Putting those three parts together is going to create a very clear message that's going to attract clients to you on LinkedIn. So Yan's original headline is helping busy families with their immigration needs. Now, in that original one, there are two components. She identifies busy families. Again, could be a little bit more specific. And immigration needs. And that's essentially, I guess it's the problem. Um, again, it's pretty vague, not really that specific. Now, her new updated one is, I help families access work permits and visas and resolve residency and or citizen issues so that they have assurance to freely live work, be educated, and travel in and out of, um, she used an acronym here, TNT, which was, I think it was, a, a, um, oh shoot, I forgot which countries. Um, sorry, I, I have to look back. Two, there were two specific, uh, Trinidad and another one. So write out Trinidad and the other one because some people won't know the, the, that acronym there again. Just write it out um, safely and confidently. So you can even move if you are focusing on a Trinidad uh, families, then you would say, I help Trinidad families access worker. So that already geographically uh, tells them right away you're helping that particular families in those particular countries because that is a really important information. Um, when I was living in Germany, of course, I only so, so, sought out services for those who help expats in Germany, right? Because that's where I am. So I need to know right away which country that it is. So I would move the country that the two countries that you're being able to help right closer to the very front of the sentence. Um, and that's another reason which I'll give you another tip after is because there's a truncation that happens. And so we want to put uh, you have actually two, 220 characters, which is you have quite a lot there. And that's totally fine. I would most likely break it into two sentences, making a shorter one that's going to be the 72 characters. And then the second one, which is this one here, which is the much longer one that gives even more details and both, you know, just it's really just for the ease of people reading it. Um, but I wouldn't remove this at all. I would keep this one and look how amazing, amazingly different that is. Right. The first component is the families and of the specific country, Trinidad. Right. So and they're looking to access work permits, right? So the first thing we know specifically who they are, families in that specific country. The second is the biggest challenge that they have. And that is they want um, assurance to freely live, work, be educated and travel in and out of uh, that country safely and confidently. That's excellent. That's the second part. And the third part is the win is that you're going to help resolve their residency and citizen and or citizen issues. 
So that is the outcome they obviously won. This is amazing. And what a difference from the first one that you have helping busy families with their immigration needs, which really doesn't tell anybody who you help uh, to what you really, really do. I am so proud of you, Jan. You made an amazing new headline. And thank you so much for sharing that with us. I would recommend you changing that on your LinkedIn profile right away because you're going to see a big uptake of people messaging you. Um, you you have a, a bar and then consultant. You don't actually need any of that. That's on your original one. Just get rid of it. Use what you have there. Uh, that's wonderful. Um, let's see here. Um, is there anything else? Okay. And I think Vicky, I'm going to do yours too, because you've also, uh, changed it. I don't have your old one up there. Um, if you do have it, if you're online right now, let me know if you remember what it is, just post it in the comments. It's really nice to have a great, uh, comparison there. Um, oh, and hi. Oh, Gary. Yes, he helped me. It's Trinidad and, Toba and Tobago. Yes, you're right. That is the two countries that she is actually helping. Um, now, Vicky, uh, let's see here. Your I don't know your original one. We're just going to go with the new one that you have on your LinkedIn profile. And that is uh, the coach. Oh, right. So you are stating that you're the coach and I would remove that completely. You want to just start with who it is you want to help. Um, so if that is online entrepreneurs in Canada looking to start a business, so um, yeah, online entrepreneurs looking to start a business, that's really specific who you can help for the um, who are confused, overwhelmed and frustrated. Okay, that's the pain that they have. And we can get a bit more specific into that kind of pain as to why they're confused or why they're overwhelmed or what's frustrating them. There is something a little bit deeper there that we could dive down more into. And to design a future, this is the outcome you're get, giving them, future with your clarity, confidence, and uh, joy. Uh, again, I feel that the outcome is a little bit uh, overly broad. They want to know really what you're going to give them at the end. So do you create a plan with them? Do you create um goals with them do they achieve these goals in three months time what are they really going to get after working with you so those that is also excellent by the way wonderful update and changes and like i said work in progress so that's okay if you didn't forget if you didn't save your old one vicky i often screenshot before i change so that I can remember, I, I keep a historical kind of log so I can also see the evolution. And um, it's really interesting how it changes even for ourselves. So that's something there. Uh, let's see. I will get to see if there's any other questions right now. Not quite. I will get to if you have a LinkedIn profile that you want me to review right now today, your headline. Put it into the comments. If you're live, that would be a little bit easier for me. Trying to find it um, through the LinkedIn comments thing is honestly not that great to use. It's kind of difficult. So uh, posting it or even posting, if you haven't updated it, just post the new one in the comments. Then it will. I'll have access to it right away. Um, oh, Gary has one. Oh, okay. Yes. Let's look at Gary's. And he posted it. So now I can even put it on screen. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. And so he's helping company leaders and city managers in non-English language countries. Okay, great. Very specific. That's the first uh, part of the three-part headline. Uh, to increase attraction and retention of international employees in their location. So that's great. You got number three, which is the win or the outcome that they companies will get. They will have more... Um, attraction and retention. And then the second part, which you can see if you can work it in there is the biggest challenge or problem that these companies are facing attracting international talent. What is their biggest challenge? Is it marketing? Is it that? Um, I don't know. You, you know more than you know your business more than me, but think about the biggest challenge and see if you can work it in there. And having those three parts are going to really um, boost up and improve your headline. And if you think of it over the weekend, Gary, 
feel free to uh, send it to me before uh, by the end of Monday, and I'll give additional feedback. I'll keep giving feedback right till Tuesday. So everybody has a chance to do so. There is no lost opportunities here. Uh, and Vicky, your question is, you haven't been able to figure out, let me see here, to uh, how to say all, um, the words within the character count. Yes, the character count is an advanced um, strategy. Right now, I wouldn't worry about that at all. I would do like Yan is doing. Uh, 220 characters is a lot. It is a lot more than you think. It's about three, three longish sentences. So brainstorm and just write out as many variations as you can. Um, and then after we get the long form variation like Yan has, it's actually quite easy to make a 70 character short form from that but it's difficult to make the short form first to be honest i would just go for the long form like she has done and like gary has a really long form one there and he can actually have a little bit longer a little bit more by adding in that challenge and then i would from there create a one with 72 characters um so that is one of the tips is that when you are on your linkedin profile if you've been following me for a while i talked a lot about the first impression and that's because on posts on comments Everywhere where they see your name that's not on your LinkedIn profile is they see under your name the headline. That's exactly what we're working on here. Um, but they only see the first 72 characters, which is a fairly short sentence. And that's your first impression. And so in that short sentence, you still want to have the three components. But after, I would still have the longer form because it really fleshes it out. And when people come to your profile page, they're going to read it again, right? It's just the first impression needs to be essentially the elevator pitch. Everybody's heard about the five second elevator pitch, right? When you go to meetings, when we went to, when we went to in-person meetings and you say, hi, my name is, this is what I do in one sentence. That's kind of what we're working towards, but building that very short one sentence can be quite difficult. I agree, Vicky. So make it long form, brainstorm a whole bunch of ideas and um, post all your ideas to the comments. I'm very happy to get feedback and help brainstorm with you and any other participants who are in the challenge can also do so as well, giving positive, supportive feedback, please. Uh, Gary, uh, you have done our little work around right on the call. And you know what? I really love that because why do it after? You know, we never do. Do it if you have a few minutes now do it on the call. And if you're hearing me chattering and it's annoying, mute me. That's okay. Mute me, keep me on with the video, work on it, and then turn me back on. I'm okay with that. I totally understand. So let's look at his little update. He just did it. Wonderful. Helping company leaders and city managers in uh, non-English language countries. And that is a little bit wordy, the non-English language countries. So you may want to list the countries. I know there are many countries you're working with. So that's also a little bit different, difficult. Uh, maybe if you're doing mostly in the EU, you could just say EU countries, something like that, just to make it a little bit easier to overcome their HR challenges to increase attraction and retention. Exactly. So their biggest challenges are HR challenges. And so again, I'm going to challenge you, Gary, to get what are the lists of uh, one of the main HR challenges? Is it uh, getting the right skill of people? I don't know. I'm going to let you think about it. But thank you so much for updating that and posting it here with me. Um, and Vicky has a question about the restrictions to the headline uh, length. They change their length all the time. And um, it's as of what I've checked like a few weeks ago, it's 72 characters for the truncated version. It's 220 characters, actually, I believe for tablet and for weirdly for desktop it's actually a bit longer it's 240 but i figure you know what most so many people who are on mobile essentially mobile device not necessarily tablet um if you're on a mobile device it's gonna gonna end at 220 so you know what's why go to the 240 because most people are a lot of people are not on desktop these days so i would um do do that as well yes i know gary you have too many countries to list so uh we can try to work on maybe somehow figuring out a little 
a little word massaging there. That's that's all it is. It's not not good or bad in, in any way. Thank you very much, everybody. That was a wonderful, lively conversation there. And as I said, anybody who hasn't posted is welcome to do so. And I will be giving the feedback right till Tuesday. So let's get on to what's next. Now that you've got this shiny new client attraction LinkedIn headline, right? What's going to happen next? Are you going to start attracting clients? So let's take a look at what it takes to build the foundation of a client attraction profile. This is the foundation for everything that you do. If you're currently posting on LinkedIn and you're engaging and you're doing all kinds of outbound marketing activity, but you don't have this foundation, you will often find that the response rate is very low. And that's because your profile page, that's the page they go to uh, right after they discover you. I'll show you that in just a second is your storefront. It's you and we got to get them there. And we can only get them there if we make that really great first impression. And if your profile page essentially attracts them to, to make the next step in the journey to getting to know you more. So let's actually go back to, I'm going to show it to you because that way you really understand where I'm coming from. Okay, so back here, turn this back on. I'll make it small again. This is my home feed, as you can see. So as I said, right under your name here, that's your first impression. That's what we've been talking all about all this time. Now, if I'm really interested in Jan and I consumed his content, people always consume the content first and then they make a decision about the person unless they really know the person. But if they don't know the person, they're going to be attracted by the content. And then after that, you have a few seconds to uh, attract them through your headline right under your name. That can be in your comments as well. OK, so let's go back up here. So say I'm attracted by his content. I go to his see more. I read the comments. I'm curious what he's doing. The next step is we want to get them to come to the pro his profile page. This is the profile page. And here is your First impression again, but a little bit longer. So this is just like you met somebody at an um, in-person meetup. You don't know them at all. The first thing you do is you shake the hand. Hi, I'm so-and-so. You give you each give the 30-second pitch and something they do interests you. So you say, oh, that's interesting. Tell me a bit more about you. This profile page is the tell me a bit more about you, right? So now we have an opportunity here to then lead them along into the journey to get to know us more and to possibly move towards our service offering. So let's now move back to that journey. Um, am I, oops, where, am, where is the mouse? Oh, there it is. When we got many screens. It makes it harder for me too, because I can only move one thing at a time. Okay, there we go. We're back. Yes, there we go. That's good. Oh, you, you need it bigger. You need it a bit. Oh, that's not full screen. That's why. That's bigger. There we go. So that's that's probably it. So we have done the first part. That's the client attraction headline part. That's what we're talking all about when I'm giving the feedback about. And now we're going to learn a little bit more about you, right? So the little bit more about you here is the next part is the call to banner action. So that's the call to action banner. My apologies. At the top of the page above your photo is a very large image banner. That banner should have a call to action message to take some form of next step to bring in them into your world a bit more. The next step after that is if you're not camera shy, and even if you are, I really do recommend just doing the 30 second follow me intro video. So that's in your headshot there. You can actually put a little 30 second video and it's about following me. And the reason the video is so important is people on the Internet nowadays don't really know 
who it is, right? To be honest, I have a beautiful headshot. Of course, it's all done with professional. And that is me. It's fairly recent. It's not, I, I'm not, you know, showing a photo where it's a mean when I'm, you know, 20 years ago, it's current. But the video, it really shows you generally in the now. And I feel that really builds a relationship because you are putting yourself out there and really showing this is me. This is my authentic, genuine self. And that goes a long way to people then starting to want to continue to be in your world and building, of course, what we call the know, like, and trust factor. Then the fourth part that you need to the profile, the foundation, is a high converting lead magnet. Now, I obviously can't go through all of these. Well, what is it you need to do? Because this takes time, right? And the high converting lead magnet really ties back to the client attraction headline. All that work you did with a client attraction headline spills into many aspects of your online marketing, not only LinkedIn, it spills into your emails, into the content creation, to the posts, because once you really know, it's very easy to talk to them because you're going to always talk about that problem and that outcome to that very specific person. And so in a way, it saves you a lot of time and it brings in more clients because they see this unified or very clear, curated and clear content that's really for them. And the last is you're going to test and tweak it. And like I said, we don't know if this works unless we test it. And we know which metrics to measure. And that, as I've spoken before, is it's not the followers. It's not how many connections. It's not how many comments. And it's not how many uh, reactions you get. It's the profile page, if it's got uh, more views, and if the posts themselves are actually getting more views. That, in the end, matters more and the messaging of how many direct messages you get a month um, really shows that it's working. Let's see here. The next step is, um, so as I said, I don't have time to go through all of those things today on the live call. And that's why I'm having a special masterclass where I will be talking about the next step, which is the banner and the leads on autopilot masterclass, because that's where leads do start to go on autopilot. And I invite you to join if you are already registered by email and you're receiving the daily emails about this challenge, the link is above, then you're going to be you're going to get the link to the class. There's no registration necessary. But I'm letting you know those who are currently live on LinkedIn now and not actually registered for my challenge, this won't be live. This leads on autopilot. It will be done through Zoom link, private call only. So you got to register up above. And don't forget that there are still prizes to be won, right? Everybody who comments during the entire challenge, doesn't matter how many times you've commented, you are now one entry or more, 10 entries to win my Get More Clients workshop. It's $497 value. It's a small, intimate, hands-on group, full day with me, giving you direct support to build the foundation that I spoke about in this checklist. And you can um, find out more details about that also a little bit later on. But first, have a wonderful weekend. If you haven't completed the challenge, it's okay. That's okay. You can still come to the masterclass. I'm still happy to share my value with you there. So post and I hope you guys all have a great weekend. Till next week.